Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we are going to see how we can set up a subledger application by using spreadsheet in Fusion Accounting Hub. So here are some uh, steps which we need to follow. Like first we need to download the spreadsheet template and populate the spreadsheet template. After doing that, we need to validate the same and after validating, we need to generate that zip file and upload that zip file in the instance. So what we will do is we will quickly move to the instance and see how we can do the same. So moving to the instance now. Now after logging to the instance, go to settings and actions. Go to setup and maintenance. We have set up as Fusion Accounting Hub. Go to Accounting Transformation. Then go to Create Subledger Application Setup and Spreadsheet. Now here you can see Download Setup Template is coming. Just click here to download the template. Now your template has been downloaded. Now we will see how we can fill this template and upload the same. So this is the spreadsheet which we have downloaded. I have opened that. And in this uh, spreadsheet template, there are three worksheets, uh, source system, transaction information, and line information. One by one, we are going to fill the same. So first is source system transaction. Here we are going to give the name of source system. This name is used for the registered subledger application event class and journal source in accounting hub. The maximum length of the same can be of 25 characters. Fine, and the short name, what is the short name? This is used as the column name in the database. So first I'm going to give the source system transaction name here, which is personal loan. And then I will give a short name. It should be in uppercase and with the underscore. Now, transaction type. Here we need to give transaction type. Here the maximum length of character can be 30 and each transaction type is used as an event type group under the event class and represent an event in this life cycle of transaction that has accounting impact. Fine. So here under personal loan transaction type I'm giving as three loan origination, loan interest accrual and loan late payment. The first loan origination. Next will be loan interest accrual. Then loan late payment. Giving the short name. So this is source system. Fine. Now we will move to the next worksheet with the name transaction information. Here we can see there are three predefined transaction information name, transaction date, transaction number and ledger name. This is predefined. After that, if you want to add any, you can add transaction information here. Fine. So I'm going to add transaction info in transaction information loan type loan amount here so i'm adding loan type and loan amount giving the short name here loan type loan amount Fine. Now, type. What does it represent? It is used to describe the type of value from the source system. Here, four options are available. Text, number, date, and long text. Text. The length can be less than alphanumeric source type of 100 char values. 
then the number this must be a valid numeric type date valid numeric type again then long text a source type of varchar 2 where the length can be greater than alpha numeric type of 100 char values but less than 1000 char values so this is long text so depending upon the type of value from the source system you can give any of the following so long type i am giving as text and long amount as number then journal display here it is used to display the source value for journal on report and inquiries fine it indicates whether this attribute is shown on report and in inquiries along with the journal so if you want to display the same you can give it as yes or you can give it as no here fine right now i'm not giving anything here then moving to the next line information worksheet here also you can see there are three predefined transaction number default amount and default currency i am going to add one more as loan rate rate giving the type yes number the chart of account value it indicates that the source can be used to derive an account if you want to say it as yes you can say it as yes or no whatever you want i'm not doing it anything here so after giving all the information which is necessary here i'm going to validate the sheet so if there will be any error it will open a new worksheet with the error report like here event type cannot start or end with space so here is a space in our loan interest approval so i need to remove that fine now again validate the same validation is completely done now after doing that just generate a zip file here So I have generated the zip file. Now we will upload the zip file in the instance. So moving back to the instance now. Now after logging back again to the instance, go to settings and actions, setup and maintenance. We have set up as Fusion Accounting Hub. Accounting transformation as functional area. Go to same task. Generate sub ledger application setup in spreadsheet. Now upload setup file. Choose file. This is the setup file which we have created. Open and upload. so here you can see the zip file imported without errors so say okay done now here you can go to scope under manage sub ledger application click on the scope cost management sub ledger application setup select and add the plan go to task search for the one which we have created as personal loan So this is the one which we have created. Save and close. So this is how you can create a sub ledger application setup by using a spreadsheet in the instance. Fine. Right? Save and close it. Under scope, you can see here personal loan is coming under all the tasks which we have created. So this is all for today. Thank you.